Hi folks, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. Today I've got the Tax Neo along with the Wahoo Kicker doing a bit of a sound test. Um, there's been a lot of questions on how loud the Tax Neo is. I've already done one test kind of inside an RV at Eurobike. Uh, now I'm going to another one here in the DCR Cave. Um, now as you can see, the DCR Cave is hardwood floor, um, kind of like the worst possible environment for sound. Uh, it's very echoey in here. I'm just talking at a normal level, but of course um, it's echoing all around this, this place. It is literally a cave. Um, and so things are going to be a little louder in here than they would be in a living room in a house that may have carpeting and um, you know couches and stuff like that. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. Um, you see I've got the iPad down there measuring sound. Uh, now the, micro the microwave, the microphone is on the left hand side of the iPad. I'll go ahead and I'll swap it over um, in between the two different trainers. Just see me do that. Um, but keep in mind the microphone on the iPad isn't terribly awesome, uh, especially for doing sound testing. Uh, so right now I wouldn't necessarily put too much stock in those values. Think of it more as comparative between the two. Um, I do have a decibel meter, but unfortunately it seems to be broken at the moment. So I've ordered a new one and hopefully can do better tests uh, by the time the end of the review comes out. So what I'll do here on this one is I'll go ahead and I'll bring it up to 20 miles per hour um, and it's set for 200 watts. Both these are set for 200 watts identically using the resistance controlled functions. Um, keeping in mind that with uh, electronic trainers, it is the speed that you're going and not the power um, that will control the volume. So the faster you go, the uh, louder it's going to be. It doesn't matter which trainer it is, it all works the same way. Um, so if I were to do 800 watts but still maintain 20 miles an hour, it's going to be an identical speed because the wattage resistance is controlled by the unit itself. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first up here is the Tax Neo. I'm going through 7. 8, 9, 10, 15, 17, 18, and 20 miles an hour. Um, now note that I've set up both bikes the same way when it comes to the gearing. Um, so they should sound very, very similar. They're obviously slightly different bikes, but uh, I try to clean both chains as best as I possibly can to keep them the same. Um, now at this point, I'm doing 200 watts at about uh, 19, 20 miles an hour. Um, and the only thing you're really hearing is the chain itself going around the gears. You're not hearing any sort of drive train or belt system that you hear in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. When I do that, you'll hear the cassettes spin down, which is pretty common. So you'll listen to this in a second. And that's actually the loudest thing you're going to hear when I stop pedaling. So next, let's head over to the water breaker. Like I said, I'll swap this real quick, flip it over, just so the microphone is equal on both. The camera position is slightly offset a little bit further back towards the video. Um, the reason that is, I've actually put the camera identically between the American set of both trainers. It's 220 centimeters from both trainers in the exact same spot. So that your perspective remains the same from the audio standpoint, no matter which trainer I'm on. So now I'm on the Wahoo Kicker, and you can listen to the sound level here. I'm at 20 miles an hour and 200 watts. So notice there's a bit of a higher pitch warning sound that's on the kicker. That's primarily due to the belt system that's on there that does not exist on the tax video. So there's no doubt this is louder um, than the tax video. There's really no debating that. Um, the question is whether or not it's worth the money. And so this is fairly cheaper than the tax video. It's about 1600 bucks. Whereas this here is about 1100 $1, bucks depending on which set you have. Um, and there's also feature differences. But I'll get into those in videos and posts over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.